Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very special video. I'm here with Karu from My Tennis HQ and Eric who played for UC San Diego. Yeah. So these guys are a lot better than me. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is I'll play against Eric. You can kind of feel it out, maybe take some points seriously, calm down on some points. And then Karu will be coaching me um, from, the from the background and we'll be mic'd up so you can you guys can hear what we're saying and strategizing. Perfect. So I want to go over UTRs real quick. Career high UTR is? Uh, I think it was like a 15.1, okay. something okay. like that. Yeah. Still pretty good. Pretty good. Do more coaching nowadays, but more still coach. pretty good. And Eric, UCSD. Yeah. Uh, what are you now and like what were you before? My current UTR is 11.7. Okay. And then my career high was 13.3. Okay. So yeah, I'm probably close to an 8. So. There you go. We got some work to do. Okay. Can you guys go over racket specs real quickly? Crew, we can start with you. I know uh, people really are interested in what pros do to customize their rackets. Yeah. Is yours customized a bit and what model is it? Yeah, so this place? is the new V-Core 95. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to make a review on it soon. I've been playing with the V-Core for, for a while, the 95 version. Uh, right now I have, you guys can see here, the lead tape, lead tape. all the way at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something new. I, I've never really done this. Um, I typically just always have it around like nine and three. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically what I'm trying to do is just get a feel, a little bit more plow through the, the shot. Yeah. Um, so adding here on, on the top just kind of gives me a little bit of feel like as I'm hitting the ball, the racket is really coming through a little bit makes easy. it more head heavy a little more head yeah. heavy it's still not that head heavy if you if you pay attention to mm, still like more okay. i mean i don't know exactly the balance point but yeah um it just for me i i, I go a lot of by by yeah. feel really so like i'm yeah. feeling like on my serve and especially on my forehand two places that i need the help i'm able to get just a tiny bit more easily the record is coming through yeah. more plow through yeah, without me having to force the acceleration, yeah. I can just be a little bit more smooth with it and it's still getting yeah. through per pretty yeah. easily. Again, new thing, I, I had a little bit more actually, I just recently took it off. Uh, but I'm just kind of experimenting with it um, uh -huh. because it is a, not too light, 310 grams total is at 340 yeah. right now with string. Okay. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it this way, I might yeah. add a bit more, but for now this okay. is what I got. And. Uh, String and tension? Uh, string, I'm using a hybrid between natural gut and uh, technifiber Oh, natural poly. gut, that's right. You had a yeah. video on that. Yeah, natural gut and, and, and poly. Okay. Um, and tension, I'm at 57 pounds. You said technifiber polyester? Yeah, okay. technifiber okay. polyester okay. and then, and then uh, I think it's Wilson gut. Okay. Yeah, Wilson gut, 130, um, 16L, I think. Okay. No, 16 and and at 57 pounds okay eric uh, do you have a, what racket is that i'm using the old wilson blade mm -hmm. um, the strings in here i have are just kind of a dead poly in in the mains uh and uh, i use luxlon alley power rough in the crosses and wait so around. two different polys two different polys okay got yeah it, got it. Uh, and then i string at around 50 pounds 50 pounds all right so what I want to work on today are the two lessons that you'll see on Crew's channel, My Tennis HQ. So first off is trying to be more clean with my split steps and make sure I do them and bounce and move quickly right after the split step. And then also core positioning, being more aware of where I am and looking out for the short balls to move too quickly. Yeah. So you'll be in the background kind of watching and coaching me. Yeah, those things. exactly. If you watch yeah. the, the lessons on the channel, you see that I want him to dominate a bit more with the forehand, but with core positioning. He has a bit of a tendency of letting the ball go up and down and drop and give all the time for their opponents to like settle back into the point where he could take the ball just a nugget earlier and put them in a lot more pressure. So basically that's all I, that's all I want him to think about, not make it so it's like, you know, a million things yeah. during point play because that makes it too a many lot things is gonna be too hard. Yeah. And guys, make sure if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 50k and subscribe to my tennis HQ. He's so close to 100k. 100k, get us, get us there. Thanks, Eric, for playing. Leave some nice comments for Eric <laughs> below. <laughs> Before we get to the match, I wanted to give a huge thank you to the sponsor today, Fuzzy Yellow Balls. So if you've watched YouTube tennis at all, you'd recognize Will Hamilton and his brand Fuzzy Yellow Balls, one of the original tennis content channels. Will has this 
singles playbook that he's worked on with Martina Navratilova herself. And it's a great collection of different tactics you can use to play against different types of players. So if you go to the table of contents, you can see tactics on beating a pusher, beating a counter puncher, beating an aggressive baseliner, and more. So for example, if I wanted to go see how to beat an aggressive baseliner, I'd go to page 24. And on page 24, there's a barcode to scan that'll take you to videos of Will himself explaining how to beat the aggressive baseliner. So if you're interested in improving your single strategy, take a look at the link below and pick up your own copy of the singles playbook. And now back to the video. Right, I like the idea there. You're a bit too close there to the ball, right? Okay. Give yourself space so you can actually put your legs through the shot. Oh my god. <laughs> Back in, bud. I had time for that. Yeah, but like, it's still like, right? Like, you're still really falling backwards from that bat forehand like this. Like, yeah. the quality is going to be tough to, to, to get from you here just, compared to. Coming back here. Yeah. Yeah. In the back. Keep swinging out. All right, it was a good slice. That was a great ball, but he, he made, it, made it tough. There you go. Waiting for that. I mean, that ball is landing like about here, and you're still just kind of hitting. Falling backwards. Yeah, okay, I want yeah. you really trying to like, yeah. drive yourself towards your target a bit more. And the neutral ball is fine. You're hitting a good neutral ball, high and heavy, but you're not you're not taking advantage of opportunities to to go for it a little bit more. It's better to go for it and make the mistake trying to hurt him a bit more yeah. than just make a neutral ball mistake. Next time you see it, just yell out, go. Do nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna say up, up. That was that was the right. I tried to take it early. That was the right ball. He actually hit a better ball than I than I expected. That was a good shot. Because you, you actually hit you cracked one well crossbar there. That was it. Good point. That was it. That was just. Too, I tried to take it early down the line. Yeah, it was just too solid by him there. But that was the right play. See, there weren't that many opportunities, so I didn't say anything. I don't want you to force it. There it is. That's a perfect point. Perfect point. There you go. You see? Got a little bit more angle on the cross. He allowed yeah. you to do that. He took it early after. And I'm starting to see that's a good pattern for me. Hit the sharp angle for and cross court and open up the court. It's a hard ball to, to manage from that side. Good point. Great shot. Oh, what a shot. There you go. But you went for it. You, you swung out on that one. Yeah. Remember, you have so much spin. You can't, you, you can't allow yourself to, to hit it because uh -huh. it's going to drop. Right? Like, don't, don't, just don't miss in the net. Okay. That's, your, that's the problem for you. Aim six feet long and go at it. Oh! What a good shot. It's a good shot. Good pass, make them work. There we go. That was a good shot. I mean, it's a pickup volley like that. It's pretty good. Oh! Ah. Wait a minute. 
Good back ends. I was going for that. Yeah, you were going for it. You, you committed to it. You see how you, we committed to the, the yeah. lesson that we had uh, for everyone in the video. We just had a, a, a back end lesson. So that was great. That was great. You see, how you got some short balls there. You just didn't take advantage. Yeah. There was one there that you could have gone for a bit more. But that was great. Uh, Eric's taking it easy. No, but like that was, that was those are some solid back ends. They're all deep. They all had had good penetration. It's great stuff. Up, up. That's okay. That's okay. Good try. Right? That's perfect. That's perfect. You live and die with that. Like good serve. I saw the short ball and I went. Saw the short ball. Open court. Great stuff. Good stuff. I, I, again, perfectly played. Perfectly played. Honestly, perfectly played. He's just running into the short ball. Yeah, he's, 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 you're, you're, you're sort of like, yeah, you're land. you're way too close to the bounce. Okay. It's short, right? But let, let it bounce and then move up to it. Okay. Bah! And then you can actually put all your body behind it. Yeah. See that one you you went inside the baseline before he hit, right? Don't do yeah, that. I, I realized Wait. that it was too close. Wait a, I was too far in. He, it's okay. Wait until he hits, then make that decision. Up, up, up. Sure. Oh, that's a good slice. Celeb shot. <laughs> Cruz doing a guest appearance special here. <laughs> Let's see if I can bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> oh. Was it in or out? I think it was just long. Just long, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh, God. Falling backwards. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. That's what you get for picking on me, Eric. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, Winston. I'm back. Here you go. Deuce. Here you go. It's your turn. Two quick points by Karu. Two quick points. Didn't try to control it. Great stuff. Try to go for a kick to the back in here okay. and set up a four. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's okay. We'll work on that in the future. <laughs> try to get him to go kick wide, but didn't work. <laughs> Too much pressure, man. <laughs> no pressure. There's no pressure. Embrace the pressure. Breathe, breathe, exhale, inhale. Up. Oh, that's, good that's well played. That's well played. Good. But decent pressure there, huh? Yeah. Forehead inside out, yeah. took it early. This yeah. is decent pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I, in order to break Winston, I have to break, I have to break you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like it. All Basically, right. like something I do when I feel a little tight yeah. serving. Yeah. Um, exhale right before you start your motion. Exhale. Okay. Inhale through the motion, because then you're not gonna feel like you're like tight okay. here. You're gonna be big, big chest. And then go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Not too good. <laughs> Just win this game for us, please. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, let's hold this one. <laughs> we need this game. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good hold. <laughs> I like it. Miss long, miss the back and long. Don't miss any chicken wing into the net. Miss it long. Good extension. Oh, that that curved. <laughs> that curved that curved way a little bit more than you expected, I think. That was a slice? Tied up. Yeah. Good serve. See how he took that one early? Like yeah. didn't let it like settle too much? Eric? Yeah, you yeah. serve out wide, you hit it a bit short, he just kind of, he didn't have to do anything. It didn't hit hard at all, but you're still on the stretch. That's what I want you to try to do whenever you can. Okay. I don't want you to think about too many things, but remember on the back end, just keep that extension going, right? Keep the, the, the right hand and the left hand getting all the way to your finish. Just get to your finish. Get to your finish. Get to your finish every time. Don't worry about hitting the ball. Worry about getting to your finish. Up, up, up. That's okay. Oh my God, it happens every time. And you, you guided that, that overhead. You gotta, you gotta guiding, guiding it? it? Yeah, the, the overhead. You gotta yeah. smack it, right? That's a good. That's a good play, but I think you might want to approach to the back end a bit more, right? Like whenever you can set the, the approach to the back end. Yeah. It's a good play still. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Let's see if I can bring it back. Good try, try. Terrible. Thank you. Uh, good ball. <laughs> Crew, we need you to win one more game at least. One more game. 6-2 is okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. The, the high one, it's a, it's a bit trickier still for the way he hits, but still try to feel like, not here, here. Yeah. That's it. Take it over early. That's it. That is a great shot. Let's go. Let's go. That was great. That was great, great movement. This this one here, you actually have a perfect footwork to it. It's very natural. Yeah, right? That one day you go like this. And you can hit that ball line or cross. You can go cut that angle go cross again and still put him on a tough situation. Up, up. That was better, that was better. See, he's feeling a little bit. Feels a little bit. Got him. But Good ball, man. You see, I said up. You could have taken yeah. a tiny bit earlier though. Okay. Up, up. Grind, good grind. Sometimes you gotta grind, you know? Sometimes you gotta win. I thought you weren't gonna make it there. Yeah. You just stopped, right? You thought it was. I stopped, yeah. I did. I <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath. Oh. Let's go! Oh. 
A small round blade. That is so I don't even well need <laughs> I'm done. I'm out, I'm out of here. Don't, don't need to play to get the second game. That was perfect. You see how you just play with a bit more intention? Yeah. Just taking the ball a bit earlier, putting yeah. just a tiny bit more on the ball. You know, getting you got to the net a couple times. Dude, it takes so much effort. It, it does at first, but because it, it takes a lot of your brain capacity because you're not playing that way. Yeah. Your your default is like. Yeah. But you see that this is one is more fun to play that way too, right? Thanks, Eric. Yeah. Great stuff. Good playing. See if you can Two back four. it up now. Just long there. The slicer always falling backwards for whatever reason, right? Off the slice, what's, what's going to happen to the ball after Off the, the slice? slice? Shots? No, no. Yeah, like whenever he slices, uh -huh. you're always hitting it like this okay. on the back foot. What's going to happen off the, the slice from his ball? The ball's going to bounce and do what? Stay low and not come as far. Yeah, but it's going to skid a little bit, right? Yeah. So create space between you and the bounce. Create space, it's going to skid and it can still poof. Push through it. You're going like I this. I didn't know I was falling back. Oh, all of them. Every time he slices, you go like this. It just slices? Yeah. Mostly. Off the slice. Not anything else. Just off the slice. And if you do end up playing like this, play higher. Play high and heavy. Because okay? you're not going to put the ball away from that position. Oh. I'll jump in. See if I can bring it back. Let's go. Love 40. Yep. Yeah, good shot. Clean. That was clean. Good serve. Right, I'll get you hopefully to add. Game point. And then you have to finish it. Oh, that is so good! <laughs> nice shot, Eric. Thanks. That was a great shot. I'm not coming in until you give me a game point. Oh. Yeah, good serve. Good serve. Just long. No, Karu. Double fault? Come on. All right. First serve, man. First serve. First serve percentage. Actually, sir. To pretty well. Come on. Uh -uh. A little long. It's <laughs> a great shot. Dang. It's a great shot. I'll I live with that. that though. I don't make that. I'll live with that. Yeah, good sir. Thanks. All right, Winston, this is it. Hi. Get this one. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. All right, Winston, finish him. There you go, a little higher toss. Breathe. Oh, no. The slow serve. <laughs> the slow serve. Oh, yes. I'm quite seriously now. <laughs> I just lost the ball this time. Uh -oh. Wow, good play. Back and right there. Push through, push through, but like you see, there, there was no like con trying to control the, the extension. Yeah. The extension brought that ball up and down, right? It wasn't crazy acceleration. It was yeah. good extension yeah, through. Over here now. 
Toss it a little bit higher. It's not getting better until we have our surplus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, That's too good. good. Yeah. A little higher. Get up. Good. There you go. Dude, that is perfect. That's perfect. All on my own. See? Like, but you're starting to see like when like you're seeing the openings. Yeah, right? being seeing... more aware and looking yeah. for those opportunities yeah. that come in. Because again, you're not going to be the, 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 the point, right? To be a 4.5, to be a 5.0, whatever it is, to yeah. be someone higher level, you're going to have to take those opportunities and, and, and yeah. execute over and over and yeah. over. But you're only going to do it once you do it in practice and you feel like you can do it. Oh, yes, sir. It's bringing in the heat now. <laughs> It's a good return. Got a good extension through. Yeah. Good serve. Good serve. Playing a little bit bigger on the serve. Let's start a little further back. Move up, but start just a tiny bit further back. Here? Yeah. And then now when he tosses up, you go forward, you split step. So you have a little bit more momentum forward. There you go. Oh. Damn, what a shot. Because that was a great return. Shot that I make either. That, that is a great, that was a great return. So you had a little more momentum forward. Yeah. And you, you hit the ball. That one felt like easy power. A lot of backhands don't feel easy yeah. power. Good. That five four? Yep. 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 Five four. There you go. <sighs> Jesus. That's right, that's right. The third, the third lesson will come, folks. <laughs> don't worry. Exhale, okay. inhale, up. So your chest feels pretty big. Better. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. Yeah, but it was, it's, it's lucky, but like, you, again, you're painting, like, you're telling a story right now. You're taking yeah. forehands early, you're coming in. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's not making the passes as easily mm. as he was. You know, I'd say four games ago. Yeah. Exhale, inhale up. So you don't feel like your chest is collapsing. There you go. It's a better serve. It's already a much better serve. Oh, that was a great hit, though. Great hit. Huh. A little out, but a great hit. You see, like, he's actually working to, to beat you right now. Like, regardless of the difference in level, yeah. he's actually having to, like, put more thought into it. Yeah. Okay, so that, that I mean, that, that's, that's what you need. That was the right play. That was the right play. That was very was, good. That was a fast one to just read the right down Yeah, line. but one. you hit it well. You just kind of caught it a tiny bit late. But I, the footwork was actually really nice. You see how that ball came through with penetration. It, don't worry about the mistake there. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. Good play. That was really good. good play, man. I thought that was a really good set. Started off a little, a little shaky, but. Thanks, they got bad every time. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Just a reminder, guys, today's video is sponsored by the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. So if you want to pick up a copy for yourself to improve your singles strategy game, check the link below. All right, that was a pretty fun set. Um, I didn't mention in the beginning, but Karu was uh, stepping in to some points, and we played kind of a two versus one set. So I hope you guys found that entertaining. Uh, I think I started off a little slow but um, towards the middle and the end, I got better at looking for those short balls, taking them early, redirecting. And I thought that worked pretty well. Yeah, overall. I mean, you, you, yeah, absolutely. You yeah, you definitely hand. feel the pressure. Uh -huh. um, gotta make sure I hit the ball a little deeper, adds a little pressure, uh -huh. uh, a little bit on it to 
to hit a good shot and that's going to cause me to make more errors. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, and that's, that's really what the goal of everything that we've worked so far is, I mean, here's a guy who's significantly higher level, yep. Yep. but you're still putting him in situations where he feels a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Now, obviously, you're, it's going to be hard to do every single point yeah. with the level of disparity, but if you can feel like you can put him under pr that pressure, yeah. players around your level should be feeling that up all the time yeah. right but you have to be able to be committed from the start to do that because that the, the beginning there a bit, bit tentative not really going looking for that and that might go a, a set might go away like that yeah. while you're playing like that so you have to be early on doing what you need to do which is dominate with the forehand the backhands were good um i thought it was a pretty good set yeah. it was one of the best sets i've seen but like you said eric's a decent chunk better than me but i think i had a couple points where i felt a little more more in control but overall he's Bigger game, it's just hard to yeah, but match again, up with him. There, I think there's, the, you gotta just look at the times where you actually were able to do it, uh -huh. and it was like, oh, I can do this, and I can do this against a very high level player. Yeah. I should be able to do this against yeah. people who leave the ball short yeah. more often, yeah. and you don't feel as much pressure that they're gonna hit yeah. high quality balls yeah. that often as well. Yeah. So that was a great set. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to both our channels and leave a nice comment for Eric for your guest <laughs> appearance. <laughs>